Getting with breaking news that we have been following all morning, heavy rain and thunderstorms causing flooding and evacuations in Sevier County overnight. Good morning, Tennessee reporter Lexi Spivak joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Allison. Sevier County dispatch officials tell me some water rescues were made in the overnight hours, so we don't know exactly how many. There are no reports of injuries at this time. We're also told the water levels have somewhat receded, but people should, of course, still be careful. And we know that crews will be headed out today to assess the damage in this area. Sevier County EMA shared photos overnight. Just take a look at your screen. You can see several vehicles that were carried away by high waters. EMA officials say the river appears to have crested toward the National Park, but will continue to rise downstream as water flows toward lower elevations. They tell us that you can expect roads and low-lying areas to remain submerged for several hours after water has crested. So, of course, we also know that a temporary evacuation site was opened at Pittman Center Elementary School for anyone displaced by this flooding. We're working to learn more information from our newsroom. We'll keep you updated here on the air throughout the day and online. All right, thank you so much, Lexi. And hundreds of people are still without power this morning after last night's storms rolled through. We've been checking KUV's outage map, and crews are making progress. Right now, there's about 255 outages being reported in Knox, Union, Sevier, Blunt, and Granger counties. At the height of the storms last night, there were more than 5,000 people without power.